need to work on the issues that are of importance to this community. The health issues are a matter of public issue with the health care district. We need to address things like 900 parolees. Mr. Hotbar, thank you for your comments. This is a billion dollar thank project. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. David Paul. Mr. Jim Barton. Chairman and members, good afternoon. I want to first say to all the tradesmen here, I appreciate you coming from all over fighting for jobs. I get that. But I live here, I live downwind from the plume, I have children, and I'm fighting for them. Now, we're up here talking about lies, lies, everybody lies. Let's just acknowledge that. Mayor Litford, I saw you on TV saying that this power plant will actually clean the air. That's a bigger That's right. whopper than if you like your doctor, you can keep him. <laughs> now here, I, I don't trust government in what they say. I want to read you something. Since 1920s, it's estimated that 7 million tons of lead burned in gasoline in the U.S. remain in the soil, air, water, and bodies of living organisms. Worldwide, modern man's lead exposure is 300 to 500 times greater than the background or natural levels. Children are the first victims of lead gas. Because of their immaturity, they are susceptible to systemic and neurological injuries, including lower IQs, learning disabilities, hyperactivities, and behavioral problems. And in adults, this leads to high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, and heart attacks. Now I put to you that our government knew this for 30, 40, 50, 60 years, and finally took action when the EPA got on this. You know, this is a ridiculous assumption that the government's going to protect us. And I don't trust what's going to blow out of this plant. So when I hear stuff like, acceptable levels and no competent uh, evidence of a threat. I don't believe that. Thank you for stopping this. This is the old technology. Let's move into the future instead of the past. This is old. Let's embrace the future. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Paul. Jim Bartlett. Jim, are you here? It's Revy 